Hello, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are hello, you today? Hello, hello. I thank you. I do. Okay, good. Nice. Good evening. Excellent. Ready and happy. <laughs> and, 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 and invisible, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, here it is. Now we are here. Okay, good. How is everything, people? Good, nice. Have an, uh, did you have a good day? Yes, teacher. Okay. That's, yes. That's very nice. Okay. Now we're going to move on to. Uh, let's unit, how many? Unit two. So now we have teacher. Yes. La pregunta es. No. ¿Por qué sección tenemos que ir ya nosotros en la plataforma? Es, bueno, eh, ¿qué le dijera? Mire, no hay un... O sea, la, la clase que, que vemos acá es independiente al ritmo que ustedes pueden llevar. Usted podría haber terminado ya si gusta, ¿verdad? Y si, y digamos, este, se ha sentido como que ya más cómoda pues, con lo que sabe y lo puede hacer, no hay ningún problema. Podría haber ir en la cuatro. Ok, eh, pero como mínimo, como mínimo deberíamos de estar por lo menos eh, termina, ya terminando la, terminada la sección 3 para hacer ya el examen. Hoy vamos a hacer un... que empezar la 4 entonces. Sí, sí, la otra, de hecho mañana comenzaríamos la 4. Nosotros hemos, hoy vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso del, también del test para que, para que tengan una idea. Y este, ¿cómo está? O si, o si hay algún problema, si alguien ya lo hizo. ¿Ya, ya alguien lo hizo o no lo han hecho? No, okay. yes, sí. teacher, I did. no teacher. Va, ok, entonces. Pues teacher, ¿y cuándo termina el Q, esta, este nivel? Este es nivel, mire, así como estamos, digamos, eh, terminaríamos el... Ya le digo, creo que es el 28 de abril. Eh, mañana tendríamos, hoy serían cuatro, sí, el 28 de abril, miércoles 28. Ah, va, ya. O sea que después de mañana, bueno, después de ahora quedan ocho clases. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay, de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Solo que este, sí. el, el curso va a terminar como, no ha venido todo disparejo, pero termina el miércoles 28. Porque no comenzamos el lunes, así como... No, que por la Semana Santa fue, ¿verdad, profesor? Ajá, y que comenzamos martes también, las después de la Semana Santa. Y antes nos dejaban hacer como de lunes a viernes para completar la semana, pero hoy tienen que ir siempre de lunes a jueves las clases. Sí. Entonces, sí, lo terminamos el 28. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Gracias, profe, por la aclaración. No, no hay problema. A la sí, teacher, yo tengo una. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuándo nos estarían enviando uh -huh. este el recordatorio para enviar la documentación para el siguiente curso? Pues yo creo que si no estoy mal, ya tendría que ser a más, tard a más tardar la próxima semana. Pero ya sería bueno uh -huh. que tuvieran ustedes, eh, que pidan en su, en su oficina, en su trabajo, los... Eh, ¿Cómo es que se llaman los documentos para que ya los tengan listos? Okay. Porque en la medida que tengan ustedes todo listo, es, es beneficioso para ustedes también porque okay. eh, se avanza más, más rápido. ¿verdad? No hay que esperar una semana para iniciar el otro curso, sino que terminamos el 28, entonces quiero ver, el siguiente ya tendría que arrancar el 3 de mayo. Entonces okay. solo se descansaría el jueves, viernes el sábado que es primero, el domingo y el lunes tendrían que estar arrancando. Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok. Gracias. All right. 
Okay. Now, let's see the knowledge check about the, just the information questions. Remember yesterday we were WH questions uh, that we were checking. And we were talking about where do you work? Right, where do you work? What do you do? How do you like it? Uh, how do you like it is like, you know, similar to what's your opinion? Okay, what is your opinion? Where does he work? What does he do? How does he like it? Where do they work? What do you do? Uh, do you understand all these questions? Yes. Una pregunta, Do you understand? Se comprenden todas las preguntas, las entienden bien. O hay alguna que no les. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember this one. Where do you work? Is the place. And how do you like it? Probably las las preguntas con how son las más. How do you like it? Es como qué le parece. How do you like? ¿Cuál es su opinión, right? How do you like el, how do you like el Salvador? ¿Qué le parece el Salvador? I can say I really like it, I don't like it, it's nice, beautiful, whatever, okay? How does she like, does he like it is for him. ¿Qué opina él? How does he like it? For example, the, uh, you say, how do they like it in plural? Say, where do you work? You can see here, where does he work? And where do they work? Singular with you. Singular with he, she, or it. And plural. Where do they work? Now let's see uh, an exercise here in the knowledge check. Has completed conversations, select the answers that contains the two words needed to complete each question. You have to choose here the pair of words that complete in the best way this, to, this question, right? You say, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. And then what does she? It. It's difficult, but she loves it. Aquí la clave es ver la respuesta. It's difficult, but she loves it. Está dando una opinión. Mm -hmm. So where? Where, where, what, or how? How. 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 How, how does she how like me? Uh -huh. Does she like? How, how does, does she like? How does she like it? Okay. How does she like it? How does she like it? Okay, good. How does she like it? Good. The next one. Conversation two. Where does your brother work? What does your brother work? How does your brother work? Where does your brother work? Where? Say at the airport, right? So where? Right. Okay, good. The next one says, oh, where does he like it? How does he like it? What does he like? It? How, does How does he like it? How does he like it? Good. Next one. How like? How do your parents? This one. How do your parents like like where where like where where do your parents like how like how okay how do your parents like your dogs? It says oh I guess. I guess they, 
they like them. Next one. Uh, next one, I don't remember. Where? Where? Where work? Where work? Where do they work? Okay. I don't remember where do they work. Next one. Number four. What do what, what do, do you do? do? What do you do? What do you do? And the last one. How like? I see. How do you like your class? I see. How do you like your class? They're good. I like them a lot. Ooh, congrats, 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 everybody. Good. They are correct. All of them correct. Questions? Okay, what about this one? Now, do you have any questions about it? Is that clear? Yes. No teacher. Okay, good. Then for the next one, we have the placement of adjective particular. You will learn B plus adjective. Okay, let's see, Marlene. I saw Marlene. Marlene here, yes. Marlene, what is an adjective? Present. What is an uh, adjective? Uh, adjective. Uh, by the um, of this class, you're well clear. Placement of adjective, particularly, you will le lim learn be mass plus adjective and adjective mass uh, plus noun. Plus noun, okay. Okay. Then what is an adjective, people? What do we use an adjective for? What is the purpose of an adjective? ¿Cuál es el propósito de un adjetivo? Why do we use adjective? Describir, teacher. Uh -huh. Describe, describe what? Describe. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. An adjective describes a person, okay, or a thing. Okay, now, okay. For example, a, a person, a place, or a thing. Okay, a person, a place, or a thing. ¿Por qué hago ese énfasis? Porque hay adverbios, right? El adjetivo eh, describes person, place, and thing. En el adverbio es para eh, describir una acción. Okay? Que no lo estamos viendo ahorita, pero para que recuerden, right? Later. That, eh, that is the difference. Adjectives, not. Adjectives, in this case, is for using, using for the description, right? Now, listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn placement of adjectives. Number one, I particularly, one. you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, 
but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a or an, plus adjective, plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A, then we will add the adjective, and finally we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. Okay, here we have something that says a firefighter, firefighter's job is dangerous and a firefighter has a dangerous job. Okay, here you have adjective dangerous, noun job, and a firefighter's job is dangerous. Okay, uh, in Cristiano, we can say that a dangerous job, well, the adjective can be after the verb to be, is or are. Okay, lo pueden usar después de un, del verbo to be, ser o estar. Son o están. For example, you can say the house is white. The car is green. The book is big. The, the tree is tall. The boys are happy. The girls are uh, young. The girls are pretty. Uh, the boys are uh, what are are strong. Okay, the boys are strong. You see, there to be. B, adjective, okay? No problem? 
No. Okay, good. No, sure. Perfect. And the other one is, o puede estar antes del sustantivo, right? For example, a dangerous job, a white house, a big car. For example, that is a big car. I have a big car. I have a small car. I have a big dog. I have a small dog. I have a beautiful dog. I have a beautiful horse. Okay, I have a, uh, let's say what is, uh, I have a black car. I have a red car. Okay, I have a, a beautiful son. Okay, I have a beautiful daughter. Okay, so adjective plus noun. Two different forms how you can use the adjectives, okay? So there are two different forms that you can use the adjectives. Questions? Okay, for example, how do you say esta película está aburrida in English? This movie uh, is uh, boring. This movie is boring. Okay, eso es? Aburrido. Boring ah, no, es aburrido. No, teacher. eso es el B. Adjetivo. B adjective. The movie is boring. Aquí está, ¿eh? Boring. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? This movie is boring. This movie is boring. What else? What else? Now, easy. Este ejercicio está fácil. How do you say the that? The game is? is boring. The game is boring. Okay. Yes, the game is boring. All right. Good. What else? This exercise is easy. Uh, uh, you can say, for example, the El juego es aburrido. Okay, you can say the game is boring. Pero también pueden decir the, uh, the, uh, this is a boring game. Yes? Este, okay. the, the, the homework is difficult. The homework, no, nah, it's too easy. Nah. <laughs> yes. yes. The homework is difficult. No, no the homework is easy. for me, yes. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, you say the homework is is the homework is difficult. Okay, no problem. Okay. Good. Uh, then this is a difficult homework. Okay, this is an easy homework. Okay. Yes. Lo mismo, lo mismo en diferentes formas, right? Okay, more example. Dangerous. The walk is huh? easy. The, the what? The walk is easy. The walk. The walk, la caminata, right? The walk is easy. The walk is easy. Yeah, okay. It's easy the walk. This is an easy walk. It's an easy walk. Okay, for example, if you live in, in San Miguel, you, what's that noise? The, the so, river is dangerous. The river is dangerous, yes. Vean su micrófono para que no nos interfiera el ruido. Okay, the river is dangerous. The stop is dangerous. The river is dangerous. It's a dangerous river. For example, the, uh, the Amazon is a dangerous river. Uh, what else? Uh, the fire is dangerous. The fire is dangerous. Okay. Good. No, climb is dangerous. Climbing, climbing is dangerous. Climbing the wall or climbing a tree. Yes, climbing is dangerous. For example, climbing a coconut tree is dangerous, right? 
if you don't have if you don't have experience exiting the the food the food is exiting exciting exciting uh, exciting the food is not the yes sports also are exciting concert o como se dice comida yes the food the food is okay the food is exciting okay or for example eating eating out eating in a restaurant is exciting yes gloria valeria No? Okay. Then Teacher, have... I, ha I have a question. Yes, Melvin. Uh, dangerous and exciting. No sé qué significan en español. Okay, dangerous, peligroso. Exciting puede ser emocionante. Okay, uh, fíjese que uh, esta es una buena pregunta. Porque exciting puede tener una connotación. Eh, equivocada, por ejemplo, el exciting puede decir estoy, yo digo, I'm excited no es como tal vez en español que puede decir estoy excitado sino que estoy emocionado por algo right? I am excited because eh, I won the lottery, ok, estoy emocionado right, so this is eh, for example, the, dependent dependent context, right, excited good, so exciting is para, y para decir estoy excitado, ¿cómo sería? ¿Ah? o sea para decir estoy excitado porque no por lo que sí, por lo general, alguien me, se confunde y me digan sí. eso. Y... Por ejemplo, se dice, se dice la palabra se dice hot, hot, de caliente. Ok, okay. thank you. Okay. No, o sea, estamos somos adultos y creo que vale la pena aclarar eso porque no voy a decirse a alguien. Por ejemplo, si usted le dice a alguien, mire, hey, I'm hot. Uf, no. Entonces, si, mejor diga cuando el día que está haciendo calor, no diga yo. Es hot. Calor. Diga, it's hot. Ok, se dice está caliente. Por lo menos en inglés para evitar el doble sentido, ¿verdad? Oye, la, o las equivocaciones. Y pensé, si usted le dice a alguien, hey, I'm hot. Entonces, hey, ah, andas caliente. No, that's not. Ok, so be careful. Teacher. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Que yo pienso que en inglés, y eso es lo que a uno le cuesta, uh -huh. que según la, lo que diga toda la, la oración, uno tiene que adaptar la palabra a, tra, a traducirla. A interpretación, se llama. Uh -huh. Es una interpretación, correcto. No es traducción. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Es correcto, Armaira. You have to... Uh, usted, uno agarra el concepto de lo que le dicen y eso lo uno lo interpreta y luego eso es lo que... Así se hace en español. No se traduce literalmente. Algunas veces sí se puede. Por ejemplo, decir, The house is white. La casa es blanca. Y sí se puede hacer literalmente. Hay una, pero hay otras que no van a, a hacer sentido de esa manera. ¿Ok? Good. All right, people. Nice. Then now we have this one, which is okay. We're gonna do some practice with the adjectives here. It says a doctor's job is interesting, and a doctor has an interesting job. Mm -hmm. We have here a police. Officer's job is dangerous. What is the other form? Uh, a police. Uh -huh. Police officer. A police has. A police officer, a police officer has dangerous, a dangerous job. job. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A police officer has a dangerous. 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 Dangerous job. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. And next one? Uh, a teacher. Okay. A teacher has. Has. A stressful job. A teacher has. A stressful. Has. A stressful job. Stressful. Stressful. Stressful, se dice, teacher. Yes, stressful. 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 Mm -hmm. Stressful. Yes. Okay, pero no es cierto. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no es estresante. Joe is easy. Yes, it's very easy. Yeah. 
you have to talk to people is nice. Okay, the next one, a plumber is, a plumber's job is boring. A plumber, a plumber has a boring job. A boring job. Okay, what uh, is a plumber? What is a plumber? A plumber. Plumero. Uh -huh. Plumero. Okay, a very good. Boring job. Well, yes, what is that, right? Mm -hmm. An electrician? An electrician, an electrician, has difficult job. An electrician. Okay. Así van a hacer el examen de fácil. Huh? Así van a hacer el examen de fácil. Yes, that's it. An electrician's job. No, electric. An electrician has right. An electrician has a difficult, difficult job. Difficult job. So, Difficult. Yeah. And a vendors. And a vendors. A easy job. A vendor. Easy job. Well, that's not easy. No. A vendor has an easy an easy job. Vendors is. Oh, un vendedor. Man. Es vendedores, pero son vendedores así que andan como ambulantes. Ah, sí, porque tenía la duda, porque sé que vendedor es salesman. Exacto, that's correct. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The vendors son de, la, de las, digamos que vendedor ambulante, right? De mm -hmm. casa okay. o en la calle, right? Mm -hmm. So these are vendors. Ok, por eso digo que no es un easy job, porque es difficult, it's hard. Sí, me saqué 10, look. 25 out of 25. I'm good. Okay. It's easy, the exam. Yeah, very easy. Look, I got it. Yeah, very nice. I am ready for the next level. Okay. Good. So then, uh, just one thing. Uh, pay attention to the word a ah and an, right? A. Ah? I gave you a chat, pero con fin de semana, right? You say a ah and an. A, ah, when there's un sonido. Consonante, sonido, no letra. Okay, sonido, right? Sound. Sound. For example, we have, hay sonidos en inglés. Que no tiene nada que ver. For example, you have this one. But you have this one. You have this one, and then you have this one. Okay. Ustedes se dan cuenta que hay una consonante que está con a y otra que está con an. Luego abajo hay dos vocales, la vocal u que está con a y también está con an. Ok, entonces ahí es donde se ve la, el, la diferencia de que es por sonido en inglés, no es por letra. Ok, porque en la palabra house, ¿qué es lo que suena primero? House, la J. La J, correcto. Ok, entonces la house es un sonido consonante, entonces se dice a house, no se dice un house. Ok, y la, en este otro caso se dice honest, honest. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que estoy primero? No. No. Sonido de O, right? Honest. Entonces se dice an honest, an honest woman. Ok, an honest man. An honest person. Ok. And in this one se dice university. ¿Qué suena primero? You, universe. You. La como una, 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 un, un sonido que no es U ni A entonces como una Y ajá, a university. entonces ese sonido no es considerado vo, eh, consonante eh, vocal right so then you use it universal como un consonante and in this one you say umbrella umbrella suena como 
U. Como una como um, umbrella. 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 Ajá, como umbrella. Umbrella. Right? Umbrella. ¿Saben que, ¿Saben que ese sonido no existe en inglés? En español, umbrella. Porque no es umbrella de A. Umbrella. Ni es umbrella. Aquí digamos um, umbrella. Ajá, está en medio de las dos. Es umbrella. Umbrella. Ok, como una A. U. Ok, entonces aquí se dice un. An umbrella. They have a house, an honest person, a university, and an umbrella. Okay. So that's the, esas son las reglas para usar a and an. And the meaning is the same. Significado igual, right? It means one. One house, one honest person, one university, one umbrella. I look at your copy. You want to copy them? <laughs> okay, a house. You have an honest woman. Man. Person. Then also when a uh, university and umbrella, the umbrella academy. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Sí, teacher. Oh, gracias. No problem. Okay. Perfect. And then for the last one, we have a, where is Tatiana, are you here? Yes, you said Tatiana, yes, Tatiana. Could you please read the objective, please, Tatiana? By the end of this class, you will develop prediction and inferencing skills. After reading and discuss, discussion, an article of um, your purpose. Profile, okay, your profile. So this is the, the reading, and these are the uh, job profiles, you must perfil the trabajo, right? That you can see here. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading, job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. So oh, he's happy. Okay, that was for the pronunciation because, but the reading, it's too small. I guess uh, we can see it here better. Mm 
in the profile. Okay, yes, it's much better, right? Okay, good. Now, uh, Marta Lillian, can you please read the first one about Lisa Parker? Excuse me, uh, you can repeat, please? Yes, read Lisa Parker's uh, paragraph. Okay. Uh, Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a writer at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television show. Her schedule, two schedule uh -huh. is, um, she's tired a lot but she's following her dreams dream the following her her dream. dream her dream okay yes and she's an actress right she's an actress hey let's see uh rafael antonio could you please read the video game tester john blue Um, lots of teenagers want John Blues, John Blues jobs. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Okay, good. Then uh, Rodrigo Daniel. Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué quiere decir cuando dice video game tester? Eh, es una persona que prueba los videojuegos y por eso le pagan. Ah, gracias. Es un video game tester, es un probador. Okay, right? Yes. Okay, good. Rodrigo, could you please read this one? Dog Walker. Dog Walker. Okay, dice Becky Picks walk, walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other person, for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay, very good. No questions? Okay. Not teacher. Perfect. Now, uh, Maria Carmen, would you please read the last one, Carlos Ruiz? Solo que no veo bien el texto. Eh, el zoom, la pantalla. Ya topó. Es que me sale, sobre el texto me salen los rostros de los compañeros. Okay, so now? No. No, solo veo, vale, voy a leer lo que veo. Ok. Carlos Luis is a basic man. He people lesson, trace common world, health, after school activities, and off. Course. No veo lo demás. And of course. Of course. And uh, of course. Teaches. And of course. He his salary. It's great. Okay. Has students like I his class. Que, it's okay. No problem. No problem. And of course, he teaches his and he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he is happy. Okay. So. So, so he's happy. Okay. okay, based on that information, we have to answer this. Okay. Number one, uh -huh. John Blue. 
John Blue. Okay, John Blue. The next one. Two. After I win. Number um, two is Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. Number three is Lisa Parker. The restaurant closes around 2 a.m. After number four, my mm -hmm. um, Becky Peck. Becky Peck. Becky Peck. Becky Peck. Okay, good. There we go. Good. That's yes. says lectura comprensiva, right? Reading comprehension. Okay, good. Va, eh, now, vamos a, solo quiero tomar esa asistencia que ya son, desde el momento que hay más. And let me check right now. Yes, here, where are the names? Here. Okay, this is the first one. And then one more chat, one more, one more, and that's it. Okay, good. Now we're going to. Vamos a hacer un repaso con el examen solo para ver si tiene alguna duda. Um, o si encontramos algún detallito de malas respuestas o algo. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, quiere decir ta, tired a lot. Sí. Tired. Tired uh -huh. means eh, cansado. Tire al muy cansado. Ajá, tire. ¿A dónde está eso? A donde que no. La parte. Me acuerdo. Ok, tire, ajá, but tire, when you say es eh, cansado, va bastante cansado, right? You say a lot. Sí, sí. Ok. Ok. Eh, yo creo que han hecho estos exámenes de listening, ¿verdad? Entonces acá, the recommendation is, vean siempre primero las preguntas. There are, no, remember there are no, there are two, there are three. And after that, then click aquí. Or, then, when it is loading, click the sound. One, I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. There are three bedrooms. Yeah, I really love the house. But I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. There are some chairs in the living room. What do you need there for the kitchen? The well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Microwave oven? Yes, thanks. microwave oven, yes. Okay, that's correct. And then you can go in the uh, living room and then you have your And then you will have the correct answers, okay? If you see, esa es la mejor forma de contestarlo. Si no les queda muy claro en la primera, si tienen dudas, lo vuelven a dar acá para que se abra la ventana. And then you listen again. 
Ahí vemos que el sonido está bien claro. The ideas are good. Ok. That's the first section of the okay, question. Question. Then you have the complete the conversation. It says the instructions complete the conversation. Use the simple present of the verb. Select option that contains the words to complete the questions and answers. Okay. Estos son ejercicios similares a los que hemos estado haciendo, right? Easy. For example, you have to say, do your apartment building have an elevator? Uh, ¿De qué estamos hablando? Del edificio. A la parte de la entonces, ¿Se tiene elevador? Ajá, ¿Se entonces, tiene elevador? ¿se tiene que usar qué? Do or does? Uh, does. Do. Das, das handle. Exactly, right? Because it's building. Okay. Does your apartment building have? And then you got land. Okay. And then does your appeal? Uh, does your teacher? It's a. Uh, uh -huh, it says, does your apartment building have an elevator? Yes. It doesn't. Yes, yes. it does. It's a firm, it right? Uh -huh. For the affirmative, we use does. For the negative, no, it doesn't. Okay? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Conversation two. Plural or singular? Plural. 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 Okay. Then, does or do? Does. Does. Okay, we have does or do? Do, have. do right? Do have. Find the microphone, please. Thank you. Okay, so then we have das. Remember, das is for singular. In this mm -hmm. case, is plural or singular? It's plural. Plural, right? So then we have bedroom. Do or das? Do, do have. Do. And we have to say, do the bedroom have closets? Yes. This is important, right? First, in this exercise, what you can do, and the, here you're gonna use no day, negative. Don't. Don't. Uh, exactly, don't. right? Because uh, you are you are using here is the the, the identify first if it is singular or plural, and then if you're going to use okay. do or does. Okay. Yeah. And then you see that all of them are correct. Okay. No problem. That's the, 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 the strategy. Hang in this one. You have to put the sentences in the correct order. What is the, the correct order of this one? There isn't. There is. Okay. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. There is. There isn't. A mirror in the bedroom. In the bed. In the bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. No picture. There are. Uh huh. There are no. There are no pictures. No. In the out hall. There are no pictures. In the hall. In the hall. In the hall. Yes, in the hall. And? There aren't the curtains. There aren't the curtains. There aren't any. Uh -huh. And there any, any the curtains. In the living, living room. Any curtains? Curtain. 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 Mm -hmm. In the living room. Dining room. The dining room. 
dining. The dining room. Okie dokie. There we go. Okay, the scramble, remember this one, let's scramble the sentences, write it sentence in the correct form. Un scramble quiere decir desenredar, okay? Okay, to put them, scramble is revolver, okay? So when you have a scramble eggs, huevo revuelto. Huevo Como revuelto. sopa de letras. Como sopa de letras, that's correct. Good. And that's it, right? No, we have another one. Here you have to select the word. Lo último que vamos a ver. Look. Nurse. Who, who works in the a hospital? Nurse. Uh, nurse. Nurse works in the hospital. Uh, talks to people at a hotel. Receptionist. Like Reception. Sits all day. Uh, Police you, officer. You. All day. Judge. A judge, right? You may ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Judge. 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 How can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some new connections in yeah, in Spanish, yeah, yeah. It's not G. Como la D y la C H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dígalo así. Judge. Uh -huh. Judge. Okay, judge. judge. Así es más fácil. <laughs> yeah, a, la, a la salvadorian. <laughs> a la salvadoreña, we do it. Yeah. No problem, judge. Uh -huh. No, but it's okay. Todo es válido, right? As long as siempre y cuando nos, eh, digamos, nos, nos funcione, no problem, judge. <laughs> o sea, okay. verlo cómo se pronuncia, pero ver cómo se escribe. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. And let me see this one. Is there another one? Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 How did they, how they like their jobs? And here, select the questions to complete the conversation and look at the example. I work at a restaurant. Aquí la clave es ver la... Where do you work? Where, where do you work? The next one. Where, what does he work? What does, does he do? What does he? What does he do? He do. No. do. Do. How do you they like do re, do pasó. What does he do? Do ah oh, okay, do yes. What does he do? Okay. How do they like their jobs? How do they like their jobs? Do, do they like their jobs? How do they like their jobs? Very good. They hate their jobs. <laughs> <Jane. laughs> yes. No, yo, yo no. En Jay lo está pensando, dice. <laughs> no, hate, hate, dice, hate. No, Jay love. Ok. I love you, Jay love, dijo. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Ok, good. And then we have this one. A singer. Fue el último ejercicio que hicimos, right? A singer Your... with adjectives. How uh, exiting? Have. See, sí, esa. No, come on. No, have an exciting. Have an exciting. 
have, la última. Have, has. Have, an. Has, have, an. Has, an. Have, an. There you go. An. Has is singular. Ah, an. yes. An exciting. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Si es singular, plural. And si es an or a. Ah, okay. singular. Okay. Okay, good. Next one. I think I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. Boring. Okay. It's boring. It's boring. And the flight attendant? Have a strip pool. Has a strip pool. I agree. It's stressful. I agree. It is it's stressful. A cashier job. A cashier's job is easy. 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 Okay, esa es otra estrategia de ver la siguiente pregunta, as. right? To identify this one. There you go. Miren qué bueno, me saqué 10 en todo el examen. <laughs> que estaba fácil. Soy, ya soy, podemos pasar a la otra sección. Soy, soy excelente, <laughs> definitely. <Good. laughs> All right, Tiene yeah. un buen... Yes, I got everything good. Okay, congratulations, people. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to stop here for today. Tomorrow we begin section four, okay? Okay, please. Have a very Thank good you, night. Teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye. Sure. Thank good you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.